Don't come outside if you're scared. On top, got stuck, got brain. Whole town took the play. Don't quit, don't switch, no fade. Know what I came in for. Ain't changing my course, I can't. Ain't taking no shorts, I'm cut. Ain't leaving till everything here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ESYFL Playoff Seating Show. I'm Mark Lloyd alongside David Rivette, or I should say Coach Rivette. And you know what, folks? This is the moment we've all been waiting for, the Playoff Seating Show. But, Coach, before we get started, you and I were talking about some of the stats that kind of got us to this moment. It all started back in February, right? February February 24th. 24th. And, boy, over 100 teams have participated in this over 2,000 players have given it their all to get to this moment. 11 different 11 different sites around the correct. state of Florida. That's correct. Which is really impressive. But I think what, what jumped out to me, this stat, over 30,000 fans have come through the gate to support all these coaches and kids that have really given it their all. Yeah, it's been incredible, man. Uh, the entire ESYFL staff is just I'm super excited uh, for what's to come, for what's already happened, and just so thankful for the organizations and the support that we've gotten, you know, throughout the whole state. And this is all leading to like a runaway freight chain, folks, to the conference championship that will take place April 13th at the Orlando Fairgrounds. Right. And of course, the state championship, Daytona Stadium. What's the dates? April 27th and April 28th. And it's a beautiful field, folks. It's going to be... Um, quite the weekend, I guess you could say. But now, without further ado, let's get going. Let's roll it out the seeds. All right, sounds good. Here we go. So we're going to start with the six-year-olds. Um, the D1 bracket for the six-year-olds. The one seed is the Down South Ballers. The two seed is the Orlando Outlaws. The three seed is the Brandon Broncos. The four seed is the Dover Patriots. And the five seed in the D1 bracket is the Turkey Creek Trojans. Yep. Excellent. All right, now D2? Yep, absolutely. Okay. So the D2 bracket for 6U is uh, the one seed is the Clay County Chargers, and the two seed is the South Florida Wildcats. The three seed is the Hope Sound Ravens, and the four seed is the Nature Coast Bolts. Excellent. All right, now we're going to go to eight. Eight-year-olds, correct. Uh, as we go up, these get a little tougher. A lot of things come into play here. So not just the record wins, losses, points for, points against, but the head-to-head matchups and things of that nature. So here we go. Uh, AUD1, the Orlando Outlaws is the one seed. The two seed is the Palm Beach Rams. The three seed is the Dover Patriots. The four seed is the South Seminole Warhawks. The five seed is the Lakeland Cardinals. And the six seed is the South Florida Wildcats. Going on to D2, staying with the eight-year-olds. Uh, the one seed is the Nature Coast Bolts. The two seed is the Clay County Chargers. The three is the Pearson Wildcats. Coming in at four is Okeechobee. Five is Brandon Broncos, six is the Inbound Warriors, and seven is the Turkey Creek Trojans. And then once we got to the eight-year-olds, we also have some D3 Bulls. Playing in the D3 Bulls would be Point Siena, Fleming, Hobe Sound, and the North Orlando Terriers. Excellent. All right, uh, the 10-year-olds, let's do it, Coach. So here we go. This is where, again, the further we go on, the more things come into play. We've really got to look at these head-to-head matchups. Points for, points against. Uh, The one seed is your Orlando Outlaws. The two seed is the Dover Patriots. The three seed is the Fleming Island Dreadnoughts. The four seed is the St. John's Crusaders. The five seed is the Royal Palm Wildcats. And the six seed and the last seed for the D110 new bracket is the West Orange Spartans. Moving on to D2, the one seed is the Pearson Wildcats. The two is the Nature Coast Bolts. The three seed is the Cutthroat Bulldogs. The four seed is the Turkey Creek Trojans. The five seed is the Hope Sound Ravens Purple. The six seed is the Lakeland Cardinals. The seven seed is Hope Sound Ravens Black. The eight seed is the Brandon Broncos. The nine seed is the Clay County Chargers. And the 10 seed is the Point Siena Wolfpack. We do have a D3 bowl for 10U. It's going to be the North Orlando Terriers versus the Martin County Jags. Excellent. All right, next up in uh, D1, the 11-year-olds. Correct. So the one seed for the 11 is the Brandon Broncos. The two seed is the Palm Beach Rams. The three seed is the Fleming Island Dreadnoughts. And the four seed is Okeechobee Brahmins. All right. We're, before we get to D112, we have to mention just how fantastic the first responders have been throughout this whole tournament. I mean, the, the policemen that are at every single game to keep everybody safe out there. Absolutely. Just, just you know, say something about those folks. Yeah, so it's really important uh, to us at the ESYFL is to make sure that um, we have a great product, first and foremost, super competitive football, but even before that comes to safety for all. 
Um, so we do have law enforcement at every game, every venue, um, just to make sure that everything's on the up and up and just keep things rolling. You know, and you know what's really nice too is those 30,000 fans, you got so much feedback thanking you to make sure that there was always a presence there because it does, it makes everybody feel safe. Okay, Absolutely. let's get to the 12-year-olds. All right, it's getting exciting. So 12UD1, the one seed is the St. John's Crusaders. The two seed is the Drip Boys. The three seed is Lakeland Cardinals. The four seed is the Central Florida Sun Dogs. The five seed is the Brandon Broncos. And the six seed is the Palm Beach Rams. And then we'll go on to D2 for 12U. The one seed is the Turkey Creek Trojans. The two seed is the Inbounds Warriors. The three seed is West Orange Spartans. The four seed is the MBU Wolfpack. The five seed is the Dover Patriots. The six is the Clay County Chargers. Coming in at seven is the Tampa Reapers followed by the eighth seed, which is the Martin County Jaguars. At nine, we have the Hobe Sound Ravens. At 10, we have the Nature Coast Bolts. And at 11, we have the South Seminole Warhawks. There's a D3 game, uh, 412, and it is Pearson Wildcats versus Point Siena, Wolfpack. All right, folks, we're starting to get to the big boys now. Just three age groups left. Correct. And next up are the 13-year-olds. Correct. So this is another high, highly competitive division. All the divisions have been mm -hmm. super competitive. Um, so we're expecting some great competition out there. So without further ado, the 13 D1 is the St. John's Crusaders. The two seed uh, is the Fleming Island Dreadnoughts. The three seed is the Dover Patriots. The four seed is the Palm Beach Rams. The five seed is the Clay County Chargers. The six seed is the Hope Sound Ravens Black. The seven seed is the 386 Ducks. And the eight seed is Hope Sound Purple. We do have a bowl game. Um, this should be pretty competitive. We have the Okeechobee Brahmins and the Rome Raiders. That's a, that's a good one to look for too. Excellent. Okay, the 14 year olds. All right, here we go. So the one seed is the Fleming Island Dreadnoughts. The two seed is the 386 Cobras. The three seed is the Hope Sound Ravens. The four seed is the Dover Patriots. The five seed is the 386 Ducks. And the six seed is the Orlando Outlaws. And in the D2 side of 14U is the one seed is Brandon Broncos Black. The two seed is the Martin County Jaguars. The three seed is Okeechobee Brahmins. The four seed is the Nature Coast Bolts. The five seed is the Inbounds Warriors. And the six seed is the Clay County Chargers. And in the D3 bowl game for 14U, it is Brandon Broncos Orange versus the Turkey Creek Trojans. Here we go. The 15 year olds. All right, these are the big boys. They'll be playing under the lights. That's right, playing under the lights. Woo! Here we so, go. 15 year olds, David. Coach, take right. it away. So the one seed is the Dover Patriots. They get a first round bye. Uh, on the other side of the bracket, you have the Martin County Jaguars. They also receive a, a first round bye. Uh, the three seed is the South Tampa Soldiers. The four seed is the West Palm Beach Saints. The five seed is the Inbounds Warriors. The six seed is the Palm Beach Rams. And last but not least, the seven seed is the Point Siena Wolfpack. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, the first ever ES YFL playoff seeding show. And um, it's, boy, there's some excitement around this. Uh, and all the fans, we can't wait for you guys to uh, come and see. Absolutely. These kids give it all they have now. Now the playoffs is all set. I bet you, I mean, how much are you looking forward to it as well? Just, not just as a uh, this league, but you as a coach, you yeah. get to see all this happening. So it's really exciting to see these matchups really paired with like talent um, and, and and really see where it goes from here. But there's definitely going to be some incredible right from the first round games all the way up through to the state championship. There's going to be some really incredible matchups. And, and you have such a unique perspective, too, because now you're, you've always been involved with a team in the tournaments, and Correct. now you're running the tournament. Correct. So I bet you, after all it's said and done, I bet you, you wish you were back coaching again, right? So that, that is funny <laughs> you ask that. So my partner, Drew, and myself, um, we still have the itch to coach. We love football. Um, we talk 20 times a day, 40 times a day mm -hmm. on Saturdays. Um, a lot of it is from the coaching aspect. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, you can never get enough of it. Once a coach, always a coach. Um, but that definitely has an element for us that's important to our heart as well. So a lot of things we do and the lenses we look through is um, through the lenses of, of a coach. Sure. Um, so that's always very important to us as well. Absolutely. Well, folks, they are the playoff seeding show. Well, once again, let's remind them the conference championship 
will be April 13th at the Orlando Fairgrounds, correct? Correct. correct. And then it all heads to the, uh, the state championship in Daytona. What dates? April 27th and April 28th. What a weekend it's going to be. Once again, I'm Mark Lloyd. That's Coach David Rivet. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Don't come outside if you're scared. On top, got stuck, got brain. Whole time took the play. Don't quit, don't switch, no fades. Know what I came in for. Ain't changing my course, I can't. Ain't taking no shorts, I'm cut. Ain't leaving till everything head.